Is pi normal? That means every digit appears equally often as every other one, but nobody knows. In fact, mathematicians say that pi could devolve into an infinite series of sevens and eights forever and ever non-repeating, uh, but nobody knows. So let's look at something simpler than pi, because pi is kind of complicated. Just three times three is nine, times three is 27, times three is 81. Does every power of three have a digit eight in it? Well, obviously not. But the higher and higher you get, imagine uh, a power of three with thousands of digits, you would guess that it would almost certainly have to have an eight in it. If you keep going here, you can find three to the 36th. Is that the last number that doesn't have an eight in it? You can go look, maybe you'll find a couple more. But the expectation is that for any three to the i, that this is the number of digits, so the chance of any single digit being um, uh, not an eight, if you sum from uh, one through it all infinity, this comes to 19.4, which is about as many, uh, you know, powers of three without an eight in it that we're able to easily find. And if we're just considering the powers of three that are, you know, the huge ones beyond a thousand, then um, this uh, sum from a thousand to infinity only goes to about zero. So you really would, if you had to bet on it, you would say that probably no other ones exist. And Erdos boiled this down famously to his conjecture that if you take all the powers of two and you um, look at their base three representations or ternary representations, and if you don't know what ternary is, behold the 10 gods of the ternary trinity, um, that only two cases uh, are there with no use of the digit two in the base three representation. Um, and so he conjectured that these are the only two exceptions to that rule. And if you uh, prove that conjecture, will you win a million dollar prize? N nope but you might try anyway.